Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Pursuit of Excellence, the official voice of the Douglas County School System. On Pursuit of Excellence, we are committed to bringing you news, information, and resources about Douglas County Schools. I am your host, Portia Lake, Douglas County School System's Director of Public Information, and today we are sharing information about Alexander High School's AP Capstone Magnet Program. And today we are joined by Dr. Chris Small and AP Coordinator Valley Robinson. Welcome both of you to the program. And Dr. Small, it's always wonderful to have you here on the program. Why don't you first start off by telling us what the AP Capstone Magnet Program is? So it's an opportunity for uh, students that uh, wouldn't be districted to our school uh, to take advantage of the opportunities that, that we provide within uh, our AP classes, as well as just the positive culture that Alexander provides uh, for our community. And so it's just an opportunity. It's a, a broad uh, opportunity. We have several pathways with CTAE classes and businesses and our performing arts. Uh, so we, we like to say we, we have something for everyone. And indeed you do. And Mrs. Robinson, I'm sure you would agree that Alexander High School, there is something for everyone. Absolutely. Our, our motto there is to belong, have fun, and learn. And so that's exactly what we try to emphasize with our kids, that you need to find some place that you belong there at school, and once you belong and you're enjoying yourself, then you're going to immerse yourself in that learning. And what are some of the components of the AP Capstone program? Sure, with the AP Capstone program, and, and, and really also a liberal arts college preparatory, um, we're trying to look at the broad student, as Dr. Small said, we're trying to look at them being well-rounded. Um, they have a lot of freedom and flexibility to choose, but we ask that they take an English, a social studies, math, and a science course every year, and they take three years of foreign language so that they're well-rounded, but then they can also complete those pathways. They can look at, into the fine arts, and they just have a lot of freedom to make some choices. A lot of our students go into the dual enrollment program. Some of them also go to CCI, so they have a lot of opportunities. And Dr. Small, let's talk about the rigor of the program. What can students expect from this program? So it's, you know, it has to do a lot with the quality of our teachers and their expectations uh, for learning. And so uh, we, you know, our AP classes, we take a lot of opportunities to uh, do research. Uh, and we use technology. Each student has, we're one-to-one, -one, so each student has a Chromebook. Uh, they're able to use that, you know, doing the work at, at home or at school. And so our teachers uh, collaborate together in professional learning communities. Uh, so with that, they're able to provide lessons that are consistent across the curriculum. And uh, just, uh, you know, our, our teachers, I believe, focus on, on the learning and not just uh, completing assignments, but really, you know, meeting our students where they're at and challenging them. And what are some of the more popular AP courses at your school? Uh, oh, that's hard to say because all of our AP classes are, are filled with uh, students that choose to take the classes. And so if you're to look at our list of, of AP classes, whether it's in science or English language arts or math, they're, they're all um, filled with students that are, that are choosing to take those classes. And so it, that makes the class really engaging for the teacher, too, to have a group of students um, that I'd are choosing it choosing that class. Correct. They're there because they want to be there right. and they've selected the class because they love that subject matter as well. And what about the instructors? Tell us about the quality of the instructors. Well, we just have teachers that really have a passion for teaching and for educating. And um, it, it's just important to them to work with each individual student and to meet them where they are. And some of our students start in an AP course and maybe they're not quite as advanced as others, and those teachers help pull them up to the level of that AP class. Um, the best part to me, though, is when students come back and tell me how those classes prepared them for college. And sometimes they even tell me that college is easier than what they did in their AP classes. And so um, just hearing them be successful after they leave our building is exciting because that tells me what our teachers are doing with them every day in the classroom. Absolutely. And Dr. Small, you've been part of the Alexander High School legacy for a very long time. Tell us about Alexander High School. Tell us about the campus and what it feels like to be part of that campus. Yeah, so you're correct. This is, I believe, my, my 23rd year. So I started out as a special education teacher and coach there and assistant principal. And so this is my fourth year as principal. Uh, 
certainly exciting times for us on, on the campus because we have a new performing arts building uh, that is just about um, ready to, to start work on the inside of it to finish the construction. So hopefully by this summer, uh, next quarter, we'll be able to, to open that up and it'll seat 600. So we'll be able to have a lot of uh, opportunities for performing arts. Also, we'll be able to have like uh, meetings like, like say with freshmen, the entire class. Right now we split it because our auditorium only holds 300. So that's, that's exciting. Uh, this year we, we uh, did some work and we have our A's of excellence. And so really, uh, you know, we look at high school as practice for the real world, uh, whether you're going, you know, to just a career or, or college or the military. And that's our A's of excellence are attendance, accountability, and academics. And so we feel that those are the, the main uh, three areas that are be able to have our students to be successful each day. And uh, coming off of, um, you know, a lot of the COVID guidelines that we've been under the past couple of years, we really felt like, you know, re-highlighting these three areas of attendance, accountability, and academics to, to show our students, you know, what's, what's the main thing. And so it, it's helped. We've had a really good start to the school year. And I think our students are excited, you know, to be back and, and to, to have that consistency and those high expectations. Well, just as you've talked about these A's of excellence, let's talk about how the AP Capstone program serves students as well as the community. Mm -hmm. uh, so we do, a, you know, partnerships um, with uh, businesses in the community, our partners in education. We actually just had a tour uh, with uh, that group where they got to see all of our different pathways as far as and, and AP classes as well. So making the connections there for our next generation of, of workers within our community and, and future leaders of Douglas County. That's exciting. And can, can I add of something? Of course, in? Sure. yes. Um, as far as the AP Capstone, AP Research is the second class that they take towards that diploma. And when they work on their research projects, they are often are paired with someone from the community oh, in that field as a mentor. So that's another way that we able are able to bring those students in directly and work with those um, professionals from the community. And also part of our liberal arts diploma um, seal includes 20 hours of community service. So we are also getting those students involved in the community that way. That's an exciting opportunity. Well, let's talk about the things that are required to not only get into the program, but to succeed in this program. And I know you have these answers, Valley, because you've been with the program as well for a long time. Who is eligible for the program? So we are looking for students who do not live in our school district. So all of the students who are already districted to attend Alexander, all of these opportunities are open to them as a student. So we are considering students who live outside of our districted area. We're looking for good all-around students. We're looking for that student that's going to come and contribute to the Alexander family. We want them to not just be a high academic student. We're looking for ones who are going to become involved in our extracurricular activities, in our fine arts programs, who are going to come and add something to our student body. We, we want to be there. We want them to find a place that they belong with us and we want them to contribute. And so we're looking for that student who is excited about learning, who's excited about belonging somewhere, and who is looking to challenge themselves. Okay, and Dr. Small, why don't you tell me who do you think would be a good fit for the program? Uh, well, I think Ms. Robinson certainly uh, covered that. We just, again, I think the most important thing is, is that students want to be a part of the Alexander uh, High School contributing and um you know from gosh back back in the day you know 20 years ago uh, we had an assistant principal um it was his name was george chip and i was when i first started there it was a cougar way and uh, that's kind of carried on through for some of us that have still been there for you know a couple of decades it's a cougar way and so we want students to just uh come in and, and understand that we're there to support them and we want to provide an opportunity for students to be the best version of themselves and every day. And the application process. Sure. So there is a countywide magnet application, where is, which is where they start, and they can find that on the district website and also on our magnet webpage on the Alexander website. And then once they've completed that, we ask that they fill out the second half of the application, which is personal to Alexander, that tells us a little bit more about them. And then once all that is completed, then I'm able to take our rubric and to 
pull in their grades and their teacher recommendations and to really kind of get to know that student and to, to get a feel for if they're going to want to be a part of our Alexander community. All right, well, you sold, certainly sold a lot of people on the AP Capstone Magnet Program and on the Alexander High School way of doing things. Thank you so much for being here, both of you, Dr. Chris Knoll and Valerie Robinson. Any final thoughts on what people need to know about being an Alexander High School Cougar and joining the AP Capstone Magnet Program today? We're just excited for anyone that takes an opportunity to look at our school to consider it as their uh, educational opportunity for the you know the last uh, last four years of public education, and we feel that uh, we provide a, a great opportunity for those students. Uh, the consistency of our staff and our community is certainly the highlight of of what we do. So we're just excited for for anyone that, that takes that opportunity to apply, and we get a chance to to see what they'll have to offer for Alexander. And as a graduate of Alexander High School in 1991, who's been <laughs> at Alexander for most of my life, um, I'm a lifetime cougar there. And I, I just want to encourage parents and students to reach out to us if they have questions, um, to come to our website to get some of this information um, in black and white. And my email address is there as, long, as well as my phone number. So I love to talk about Alexander with anybody who wants to listen. All right. It's always a joy to have you here on the program. Thank you so much. Again, that's Principal Dr. Chris Small and Valerie Robinson, who is the AP coordinator. And if you need any more additional information, why don't you give us the website, Valerie Robinson? Sure. It's ahs.dcssga.org. And under departments, you can look for our magnet program. And our website is dcssga.org. And again, I am Portia Lake, and you can find us at Again, dcssga.org. And again, this is Pursuit of Excellence, the official voice of the Douglas County School System. Thank you so much for joining us.